everyone. Welcome to another quick comparison video between Namecheap versus Hostinger. This is web hosting comparison, which is the best hosting for WordPress. So first of all, let's see Hostinger versus Namecheap main features. As you can see, Hostinger has shared hosting, WordPress hosting, cloud hosting, VPS hosting, cPanel hosting, cyber panel hosting, and Minecraft hosting. This is an additional uh, basically thing that they have, which is really great if you want to, you know, have a Minecraft server. Now, obviously, Namecheap has shared hosting, WordPress hosting, reseller hosting, VPS, and dedicated hosting. Now, Hostinger, right here, you can see that they have much more to offer right off the bat. So, in the features, Hostinger is a clear winner here for the features. Obviously, uh, we can see the Hostinger has one to 300 websites. Namecheap has three to unlimited websites. This doesn't really play a role as, you know, no one will have really 300 websites, right? Or, you know, it, they will probably have less, right? But uh, either way, you know, obviously Namecheap has offers much more here. Um, storage space, again, unlimited right here, we can see, and here we can see 300 gigabytes. We can see bandwidth, 100 gigabytes a month, one terabyte a month. We have two, uh, two to unlimited databases, 50 to unlimited da databases. So right here, we can see all, all of these features, Namecheap is a clear winner, right? Obviously, Hostinger has more features right here, but Namecheap is winner right here. Then we can see test speed. Uh, again, it's similar, really similar. Uh, we can see uptime is 100% in the last month, 99% in the last month. We have server locations, which is in seven countries, which allows for much more or uh, stable uh, connections. When it comes to three countries, it's not as stable. And then user interface, we can see it's easy to use. And they have the fall control panel, which is H panel, which is their uh, C panel. And then they have this C panel for Namecheap. Obviously, we can see dedicated server RAM, much more on Namecheap side. Now, as you can see, the major aspects to consider when choosing any web hosting services are divided in several parts. Web hosting key features, storage, performance, and interface, right? Um, as you can see, obviously, Hostinger has a lot of different things, free SSL, free migration, backups, uh, Cloudflare, one-click WordPress installation, stuff like that that are really, really uh, key. Now, if we scroll down and if we just take a look at performance, performance in hosting providers mostly deals with site speeds, right? So here is the site speed for Hostinger, right? Obviously, it's, the, it's similar site speed, but it's more stable because Hostinger has uh, sites in uh, or servers, sorry, in multiple countries, which is great, right? Now you can see here Namecheap has a lot of different features as well. I think uh, Hostinger has much more features when it comes to that, right? Um, Namecheap also offers dedicated server hosting services, right? Uh, which doesn't really play a role. This is Namecheap's uh, performance right here. It's really similar to uh, Hostinger, but Hostinger has again much more, uh, much more uh, stable connection now. Winner is obviously here Namecheap, right? Despite having higher quality uptime and speed, Hostinger could not get around Namecheap storage, great services, as I already you know, told you, right? And uh, yeah, because right here, if we take a look, right, why Namecheap is a winner, if you go here, we can see that, you know, Namecheap beats, beats uh, Hostinger in websites, in storage space, in bandwidth, in databases, in speed, uh, as well, I would say, or yeah, as well, and then uptime as well, uh, almost, right? Um, the only con for Namecheap is that it's available in, or they have servers in three countries. But other than that, I think Namecheap is the winner here. Comment down below, what do you think, which one is, which one hosting uh, platform is the winner right here? I would love to see what you all think, but I think Namecheap is definitely a winner. And yeah, we'll see you in the next video. Thank you guys for watching.